Hello everyone, welcome to UPSC Digital Library. Welcome to the complete course on Physical Geography. This is the introduction class and in this lesson we are going to understand what is geography, what is physical geography, why should we study geography, what is the UPSC syllabus for geography, what is the right book list to study geography and what is going to be our approach. स्वागत है आप सभी का फिजिकल ज्योग्राफी के कंप्लीट कोर्स में यह है इंट्रोडक्शन क्लास और इस क्लास में हम इस बात को समझेंगे कि ज्योग्राफी है क्या फिजिकल ज्योग्राफी जो कि ज्योग्राफी का एक अभिन्न हिस्सा है वो आखिर है क्या हमें ज्योग्राफी क्यों पढ़नी चाहिए यानी कि हमें भूगोल क्यों पढ़नी चाहिए हम इस बात को भी समझेंगे कि यूपीएससी का ज्योग्राफी का सिलेबस आखिर है क्या हमें कौन सी किताबों से ज्योग्राफी को पढ़ना है तो आइए हम शुरू करते हैं ऑल राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज जियोग्राफी सबसे पहले हम ये समझते हैं कि जियोग्राफी है क्या नाउ अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग वेन वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दरिजिन ऑफ अ प्लेस वेन वी ट्राई टू स्टडी अबाउट अ प्लेस or anything and we try to understand its origin we try to understand what are the various features related to it let me give you guys an example let's say you go to any city let's say you visit any river you go to any pond you go to a hill all right you go to a plateau now the first question is where have they originated from ye plateau mountains rivers valleys ye sab bane kaise hain सेकेंड थिंग इज वाई दे आर एग्जिस्टिंग एट दैट प्लेस वो उसी जगह पर क्यों है कहीं और क्यों नहीं वाई डू वी सी मोस्ट ऑफ द आइस कैप्स इन दर्कटिक एंड एंटार्कटिक रीजन वाई नॉट इन द्रॉपिकल रीजन ऑल राइट एंड एट द सेम टाइम वॉट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दो प्लेसेज एंड द पीपल लोगों और जगह के बीच में क्या रिलेशनशिप है हाउ इज द एनवायरमेंट रिलेटेड टू द पीपल ऑल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी कवर्ड इन जियोग्राफी ऑल राइट जियो इट सेल्फ मीन्स अर्थ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड वी स्टडी अबाउट इट व्हेन वी स्टडी अबाउट इट इन अ साइंटिफिक वे वी कॉल इट geography which is a very scientific subject in itself at the same time now what you guys must understand is when we try to look at the places at the surface at the various geophysical phenomena and try to understand the physical properties of it then we say that we are going to study physical geography jab hum kisi bhi landform ke bare mein samajhte hain kisi bhi physical phenomena chahe wo earthquake ho chahe wo volcanic eruptions ho ya fir koi bhi aisa landform pahad nadiyan jharne un sab ke रिलीफ फीचर्स को समझने की कोशिश करते हैं तब हम बोलते हैं कि हम फिजिकल ज्योग्राफी पढ़ रहे हैं और जब हम समझते हैं व्हेन वी ट्राई टू रिलेट दो फीचर्स विद दी सोसाइटी वी से दैट वी आर स्टडिंग ह्यूमन ज्योग्राफी सो इन अ नटशेल इन ज्योग्राफी आइदर वी विल स्टडी फिजिकल ज्योग्राफी और वी विल स्टडी ह्यूमन ज्योग्राफी नाउ इन ह्यूमन ज्योग्राफी अगेन वी टॉक अबाउट the societies the economies but these are the two major classifications now if we talk about the syllabus of upsc you guys must have heard that you guys have to study physical geography indian geography and world geography agar aap logon ne syllabus dekha hoga to aap logon ne ye teen shabd sune honge physical geography indian geography aur world geography when we will study physical geography automatically all those physical concepts beat of india beat of world beat of any part of the world will automatically get covered when i specifically talk about indian or world geography jab main specifically indian ya world geography ki baat karta hu tab main uske human geography pe zyada focus karunga tab main uske economic aspects pe uski specific social aspects pe focus karunga this way you guys have to look at geography and this should be your perspective while studying it all right so in this geography we are going to understand whenever we we try to find out something various kinds of soils various kinds of landforms where are they found why are they found how they must have developed and there must have been a few changes that would have happened over a period of time and remember guys if you guys would have watched 
the complete course on ancient Indian history for which a few chapters are remaining. It is my responsibility to finish them. It will be covered in the upcoming days. Please don't worry. It is because of my poor health these days that I am facing a lot of challenges. Even right now when I am making this video, my temperature is 100 degrees. And yesterday my temperature was 102 degrees when I had uploaded that video on mains answer writing. So please understand my situation. Please cooperate. All right. When we studied ancient history, course tha, when we studied that, we saw that the history is a lot, lot much derived from the geographical features. History is a lot of geography. Par nirbhar karti hai. And we will understand now why we see that the people are concentrated in one part, why people are scattered in one part, why people have a different kind of culture at one part and people follow certain different aspects in a different part. It is because of the geography, the temperature, the climate, the crop, the soil. Oh, there are n number of parameters which will define how an individual is going to stay in a particular area. So it is very interesting to study geography. Now you guys might, might be saying, we are not a UPSC aspirant. Some of us are just connected to UPSC digital library because we want to, we, we have that urge to learn new things. We like new things. So then, then why should we study geography? Let me give you guys a few reasons. Every day there are many things happening to us. All right. The weather is changing. The climate keeps on changing. Sometimes it rains. Sometimes, sometimes it is sunny. Sometimes it's a solar eclipse. Sometimes it's a lunar eclipse. All right. And moreover, the en environment is changing. Moreover, you guys must have heard about El Nino, La Nino. All right. You guys must have heard about that this year monsoon is not going to be very effective. What could be the reasons behind it? You guys must have heard about X cyclone would have hit the Odisha code. Now, as a, as an individual having a scientific temperament, एक समझदार इंसान होने के नाते, यह आपका कर्तव्य बनता है कि आप जाने कि आपके चारों तरफ जो भी फिनोमिना हो रहे हैं, वो कैसे होते हैं, क्यों होते हैं, कब होते हैं, और कब वो नहीं होते हैं. At the same time, as I have told you, that these physical phenomena have a direct linkage to the culture also. So it is interdependent and it is very important to know the geography. At the same time, you guys must understand that different people stay in different parts of the world. Different people have different culture, different eating habits, different lifestyle. What you see, the global distribution of people is directly because of the impact of geography. And thus it becomes vital for us to understand what this subject is all about. At the same time, it is our responsibility to make this world a beautiful and peaceful place. If we will understand how this earth is changing, we will, we will understand what are the positive changes and what are the negative changes happening so that we can try to curb out the negative changes, be it related to environment, be it related to wildlife or other aspects and we can try to make this world a better place. I hope this makes sense. Now, what is the syllabus of physical geography? Physical geography ka syllabus kya hai? Jo humko padna hai. Now, if we talk about the preliminary examination, you all know that there will be two papers, paper 1 and paper 2, both are MCQ types. In GS paper 1, this is the line mentioned about geography. That questions will be asked from Indian and world geography, which will cover the physical aspect, social economic aspect of India and the world. Now these two are a part of human geography which we will study later. So physical geography is an important part of the prelim syllabus. This is decoded right now. At the same time, now let us try to understand what is the main syllabus for geography in UPSC examination. Now paper 2 which is GS paper 1 over here the syllabus is from history, from sociology, and geography. So let us try to understand what are the topics of physical geography in UPSC means. Now look over here. Important geophysical phenomena such as earthquake, tsunami, volcano, cyclones. All right. So this has been added in 2014. 
all right when the national disaster management committee recommended that see we have to understand how these phenomena are happening so this was inculcated in the syllabus these are very important topics and at the same time the entire physical geography is very very important now when when i talk about effects of such changes it automatically means what are the effects on on the people from the so from the society's perspective from the economic perspective so we can say that physical and human geography is a part of upsc means but the predominant ya zyada tar hissa majority of it is covered from physical geography so knowing and understanding the key concepts of physical geography physical geography geography ke core concept samajhna bahut bahut zaruri hai now how i am going to teach you all physical geography what is going to be our strategy for physical geography in upsc digital library so this is the way how we are going to cover up the physical geography first we will will study the core fundamentals all right the basic core concepts of latitude longitude how how the earth rotates revolves and how our seasons formed then we will go towards the lithosphere and the various landforms all right we'll understand what is inside the earth what is the earth made up of we'll look at the seismology now these are the various theories all right based on which people believe how the continents and how the oceans have been formed be it the continental drift theory conventional current theory sea floor spreading theory plate tectonic all right now based on these theories we'll understand how mountains are formed valleys plateaus plains rivers in theories ko samajhne ke baad hum ye samjhenge ki pahad valley nadiyan chattane nadi ye sab plains ye sab kaise bane hain all this will be covered here now very important part geophysical phenomena earthquake kaise hota hai tsunami kaise hota hai volcanism kaise hota hai ye sab bhi hum samjhenge then we will study ओशियोनोलॉजी इसमें हम समझेंगे कि ओशन के सरफेस पर कौन कौन से रिलीफ होते हैं वॉट आर दी वेरियस रिलीफ इन दी ओशन सरफेस वॉट आर दी वेरियस रिसोर्स इन ओशन वॉट आर दीज कोरल रीफ वॉट वॉट इज एक्चुअली मेड बाई मेरीन पोल्यूशन हाउ वी शुड टैकल इट वॉट आर ओशन करेंट वॉट आर ओशन वेव वॉट आर ओशन टाइट्स वॉट इज the actual meaning of ocean temperature what is what do we understand by ocean salinity is it really important for us to know this what are the important ports this will be covered over here another very very important topic climatology hum samjhenge ki hamare atmosphere ka composition kya hai structure kya hai what is air pressure what is this air circulation ye hadley's farrell's model what is this all about what is this aurora borealis ये हीट बजट क्या होता है कितनी तरह की रेनफॉल होती है व्हाट इज टेम्परेचर इन वर्जन व्हाट आर दी वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ विंड्स व्हाट इज साइक्लोन एंटी साइक्लोन जेट स्ट्रीम्स थंडर स्टोम्स एल नीनो ला नीनो व्हाट आर दी वेरियस क्लाइमेटिक रीजन मेडिटेरियन टाइप टूंड्रा टाइप इंडिया टाइप चाइना टाइप टेम्परेट ग्रासलैंड टाइप ट्रॉपिकल टाइप वी विल स्टडी एवरीथिंग हियर इन दिस फिजिकल जियोग्राफी कंप्लीट कोर्स एंड वन मोर थिंग आई विल टीच इन सिंपल इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो एनी बडी हु इज फ्रॉम हिंदी मीडियम ऑल्सो विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ देर इज एनी टॉपिक विच इज कॉम्प्लेक्स अगर कोई ऐसा टॉपिक है जो थोड़ा सा कॉम्प्लेक्स है पेचीदा है आई विल एक्सप्लेन दैट पॉइंट इन बोथ इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी so that it, it the, the language as well as money should never become a barrier to your success. All right, now. from where are we am i going to teach you physical geography what should be the right resources for studying physical geography all right so understand that you guys have to study geography from new ncerts this course is made from new ncerts 6 to 12th let's say when when i will when i will teach you chapter 1 i will tell you go to class 11 chap, open chapter number 2 go to class 7 open chapter number 3 so you guys don't have to worry kaun se chapter se padhna hai based on the specific chapter i will recommend you that so and so chapter have to be referred so you guys don't have to worry that there are n number of chapters in all these books so you guys don't have to worry about the sequence of reading don't worry about in which sequence you have to read the ncerts you guys do not have to read the ncert from 6 to 12th it is shuffled it is jumbled chapter wise i will tell you that what specific chapters from the ncert and from gc leong book have to be read at the same time you guys have to keep atlas with you 
न्यूज पेपर एडिटोरियल्स एंड आर्टिकल्स फ्रॉम द हिंदू विल प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल अंडरस्टैंड विदाउट रीडिंग करेंट अफेयर्स यू कैन नॉट पास दिस एग्जामिनेशन वट एवर वील स्टडी हियर इज द स्टार्टिक पार्ट एट द सेम टाइम यू गाइज हैव टू अपडेट योर सेल्फ विद द रिसेंट हैपनिंग सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग टू रीड एनसीआर टी फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑन योर मोबाइल फोन यू कैन डाउनलोड ई पाठशाला ऐप दिस इज अ गवर्नमेंट ऐप फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट यू गाइज कैन रीड द एनसीआर टी If you guys want to read on your laptop, you guys can go to ncrt nick dot in, hover over to the publication section, publication pe click kare, fir ebook pe click kare, then you can download free PDFs. All right. Now you can search for G C Leong and Atlas in internet. See, come on, put some efforts. You guys should get free PDFs. Now still, if you guys do not want these PDFs, soft copies, if you guys want to purchase the above books, I will make your life easy. I have I have shared the links of the above. resources in the description you can simply click over there go to amazon and purchase it all right i hope this introduction class was fruitful to you please subscribe to our channel and do comment and let me know how this video was and please share about this platform to your friends so that we can help maximum aspirants who cannot afford coaching fees thank you everybody for watching god bless you